Hi, this is Miss D at D Special Things. Oh boy, this has been a day. I've gotten a lot of stuff done today, but not as much as I wanted to get done because, oh, you know my room, I'm, I'm, I'm organizing or reorganizing. I'm really not reorganizing. Not since I moved all of my Alex drawers and stuff, but what happened... Well, see, what happened was, <laughs> no, I started going through drawers that I have not been in in I don't know how long. I'm almost afraid to go in some of them because I found stuff and <sighs> I know I wouldn't use it. So that's what I'm getting rid of. Um, I've gotten quite a few private messages where people are asking me to sell certain things well no that's not what I'm doing okay you guys I'm actually only selling stuff that I'm coming across that I probably haven't used had probably have no intentions of using so those are things that I decided to go ahead and just get rid of um so no I'm not having a big bash sell <laughs> you know no celebration sales here <laughs> No, but I did want to. I saw those and I said, you know what? The things that I actually put out there, I said I probably wouldn't use them. So, yeah, that's what I did. I figured I would pass them on to someone who, um, you know, in, uh, like them, enjoy them, could use them. So, that's the kind of stuff that I'm uh, getting rid of. Okay, someone asked me, and I can't tell you who it is because I've been really... I've been this weekend cleaning or going through stuff in my craft room because I promised myself every weekend I would go straighten up something, clean it out, organize it. I'm trying to scale down all of my little organizations, you know, stuff. So, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. But someone on... So I'm I'm trying to do everything. And on top of it, I'm also still helping my uh, sister. We're still FaceTiming. And she actually did really good this weekend. She made a Julie Nutting tag. I mean, she she stamped it. She actually stamped it. Um, she stamped the, the doll. She uh, paper pieced it. I mean, she did a good job. And she did made a tag for it. She decorated the tag. She put lace on it. It really came out cute. I wish she figured out how to do video recording, but I'm the last person to help do that. But she said that that's what she wanted to do. But anyway, um, this is the start of a, of a card, a flip card that I was going to do. And I remember one of my subscribers Whoever you are, just, you know, let me know down in the comments. Say, hey, I was the one to ask, but wanted to know how I made the envelope flip cards. Well, see, here it is. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to make these. And this is what I do so that you totally understand exactly how I do this. Um, I didn't want to leave you hanging because I didn't know if you were trying to get them done or what. Oh, I'm getting a lot of your messages too, but everyone, if you put a link in your, if you put a link in the message that you send me, it goes to spam. Uh, you guys know that probably, right? I'm the last, <laughs> I'm the last person to know, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is what I do. I actually, I put glue on the back side of the envelope. And then I'll take the other envelope and I'll stick it inside and watch it takes me forever to do it. Maybe not. I'll stick it inside and I'll push it down to the fold. Okay? Cause, and I use wet glue because it allows you to move it. Yeah. So, if you think it's easy if you use, um, what is it? Tape? You can try it with that if you feel comfortable with that. I feel comfortable with using wet glue, okay? And I just take it and I put it I, I put it in there on the seal on the line of the other envelope, right? Okay, so it's in there. And once I get it in there, I know messy, huh? Once I get it in there, I actually 
put more on the outside of this one and I seal it down all right this is the inside of your book now okay you can use I use this as the front side because the seal is on this side you can cover that you can put paper on it you could decorate it anything that you want to do you can do to that but this pretty much seals it on the inside and the outside on both sides of it okay you just don't want to get glue here because you're going to use these as pockets okay and then what I do is these flaps right here so that they won't look like flaps I actually take those and I cut them off. I'll trim them over here. You see? I want to make sure I'm in I'm in screen. Cause uh who was that? Game girl at Arizona. I think I got your last message and you said I was out of screen when I did the charcoal the charcoal charcoal markers. Okay, see so you have that right there you can either glue it down or cut it off my preference is to cut it off because then you don't have because you're going to use washi tape anyway to reinforce your edges so you really don't need those edges there you can if you want to keep it there just to reinforce it you can leave it there but I take this and I cut those little clips off and you actually have a flip and it has these pockets right there this is the front of it and I had put a, started a little washi um, on here and this is the front and you open it up and you have your flaps in there Okay, let me show you one that I actually worked on. I think I started this one yesterday. And uh, I actually did the entire thing with washi tape. And then I took some of the little scallop cutouts, punches that I did. I made the little cups. They actually say these special things. And these right there. Yeah, this is, uh, I think, let's see what size envelope. This is a pretty large envelope. They are, I think they are coordinations. I know I got them from, where did I get them? Joann's. And every time I, I, I just like craft. Are they coordinations? Yeah, these are coordinations. And they're six by nines. Yeah, and they come 25 in the pack. So when they go on sale, that's when you get them. You know the deal. 50% off. I use the 50% off coupon. But yes, all of this all of this on the front is washi tape, but the edges is actually printed paper. Okay, it's printed paper. I haven't finished this, but I wanted to show you what it looks like. Well, this one is looking a bit busy because I have stuff in there. And as you can see, I have the pocket, and it has a pocket on the inside with journaling cards. I don't even know if this is, this is probably the pocket I'll use. This is one of those, let me find some. I got them from Tuesday morning. They call, they're called mail something. I don't know. But they're little, just little pockets made out of paper, but they're sold. And I just put a bunch of cards in there. And this is probably not the cards that I'm putting in there, but I wanted to show you how it works. And you could just put it down in there. It fits. It fits that way, and you have enough space for it. Yeah, it fits that way. And you have enough space for another one. But as you can see, there's pockets there, right? Um, I took some, these were some little file folders, which you can make with your enveloper. And you just attach them to the edge of this, this flap. Yeah, this inside flap. And you can still put your same stuff here. I have a little photo, little photo thing here that you can actually put a, a picture in and I have you could just still do your flaps the same way you could actually put your cards in there if you want and then here's another one and it's attached to the other side of the the flap and inside and here I just have a bunch of cards and I just put those in there I just wanted you to see what it looks like right now 
Okay, so that is that envelope using the six by nine, like a little book, huh? <laughs> still, and then you still can decorate. This one, I actually used this side for the front because I knew I was covering it with washi tape and I wanted the back side to be seamless. So yeah, I actually did that. But yeah, you just do that and then you have even bigger pockets that you can put more stuff in. Um, yeah, so that's how I made this particular one. I have others that I actually put one inside each other and let me see if I can find some. And yeah, like here. And you actually make a little book. Yeah, like these are different. You just take one and stuff it inside the other. And you can keep doing it and it'll make a book. This is like a book, but you can also make them three-sided. Let's see. I don't know if I have more like that. Well, yeah, here's a two-sided one. But this is a smaller one. I'll actually cut the flaps off of this one just like I did the big one by the time I finish with this so that you can put you can use these as the pockets yeah you can use the flaps as pockets and then the front as as what you come so this one would be just like that yeah I did start that huh I just haven't finished that yeah. but I have a lot of them that I started this weekend was just not the weekend to get a whole lot done because and I'm hoping next weekend will be, but this week I'm switching my days and I'm working through the week this week and then next Monday I'm actually working and I won't be off until Friday. I have meetings that I had to, so I had to switch my days around. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be the, the longest two weeks ever. Yes, it is. Okay. Because I'll be working every day up until next Friday. Okay, well, not on the weekends. I just don't do that. But, <laughs> anyway. Yeah, this is the envelope that I did. So, whoever you were, one of my subscribers, whoever you were, um, that's how you actually make them. And that's how I make them. So, if you know of any other way or if you're doing them differently, yes, yeah, share share what you're doing so that, you know, yeah, we can all incorporate different ideas into these flip books. I am having so much fun with them. I think my sister is worn out from doing them because she wanted to switch to something else, but she made a great tag. I was proud of her. She was so proud of herself. Yeah, but anyway, she says that she's so excited about this stuff, she dreamed about it, and she's just so anxious to wake up, and I'm thinking, you're home 24-7. <laughs> you can sit there all day long until you actually, you know, just fall out and go to sleep. But yeah, I did have a chance to go to Tuesday morning, but you know, they didn't have a whole lot of anything. I will show you what I did get. And I got enough. I got three of these. And I'm sending her. I'm sending my sister one. Yeah, I'm sending her this one. Yeah. And then I got three of these. And I'm sending her one of those too. And I only got two of these because that's the only colors. The other colors I didn't like because they were like those pinks that are too bright. And I can't figure out how to... Um, scale those colors down other than coloring over them and I just didn't want to go through that believe it or not these and all of them are the same numbers I think no they are not the the black one the number is one six one eight nine five three this one is one six one eight nine five oh and the white one is let me see I can't believe um one six one eight nine five four yes and these are actually let me show them to you because this stickers and the chipboard stickers so yeah you get i think i put these in here wrong did i take these out nope this is right the white ones aren't really white are they well yeah the letters are but the outside is the letters are white and the chipboard letters for the white ones are black yeah I guess that's the only way you could have made the white letters, huh? But yeah, those are um, 
the stickers I figured for 99 cents there by Prima. I thought that was a good deal. She uses a lot of letters, so I just wanted to get her some more alphabets. I think I'm going to have to go ahead and send her one of the embossing machines. Not embossing, you know, yeah, the embossing machines. I don't have any more crookets. I gave all of them away. So I think the only thing I'm going to have, I think they had some big shots at Tuesday morning, so I might have to pick one up from there. But they had um, the glue guns, so I purchased her one because last night she actually burned herself with her glue gun, and she said that someone gave it to her. Um, I told her it sounded like it was going bad. That's probably why the... The glue got so hot, it burned her hand so badly. Um, I mean, we almost had to stop crafting. It really hurt her. So, when I went out today, and I went in Tuesday morning, they didn't have much of anything else, but they had a glue gun. So, I picked one up for her, because I'm getting ready to send her a package. Another package. I sent her one. She got it Friday. So, she should be good. But, this is another thing. Like I said, they didn't have much, but what they did have... That. Okay, this was cracked when I got it. But they had this package of envelopes for $4.99. It's 200 note cards and envelopes. And it's 200 in there. Um, I guess it's 200 note cards and 200 envelopes. Yeah. But each one is a... I think they have six colors in here. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colors in there. And the note cards are the same, but when I saw them, I thought, wow, for $5, you get 200 of these envelopes and 200 cards. These will, they're thin, thin envelopes, but they will make sturdy enough little flips that you can actually put on the inside of your, of your flip books, you know, yeah. They're not super sturdy, so I think they would make perfect little uh, flips for the inside of your, yeah, of your little flips. So, if you come across them, that might be a good idea for someone looking for ideas for their flip cards. Other than that, uh-uh, I did get a stamp. I got a stamp from Tuesday morning, and I said I was going to show it to you. Like I said, I didn't buy... I am in my craft room reorganizing and finding stuff. I found some more good stuff in here that I'm actually using. I'll have to show you guys one day. And I swear this stuff has to be 15, 20 years old. But it is working wonders. So I'm actually getting it together. I did get another stamp. I have this obsession with stamps. That is, oh my gosh, if I could give away stamps, um, you guys would not believe the amount of stamps that I have in my room and I even tried to go through them to see what I had and if I could you know get rid of some of those but every time I look at something that's like no I need this on here and this on this one and this on this one so I know I I just won't be doing or giving away any of my stamps so um if I unless I could do some wooden the wood ones and they're expensive to ship because they weigh so much. That's the only thing about it, you know. Um, I can actually, you know, get rid of them for a good price, but the shipping is still costly. Um, yes, I can't find the other step because, like I said, I started off with a clean room, and about now it is, woo. But I'm going to stop this video. I know I rambled enough. It's going on 20 minutes for nothing at all. But I did want to share with, um, you know, with my subscribers, the one that asked about how I use the envelopes to make the flip book. I figured I would show you all because, and I did respond that I haven't, completed any yet and I'm still not I still haven't completed this but it's on its way so I figured I'd at least give you show you how I um actually binded the envelopes to make the flip book all right you guys this is going to be it for me this weekend I know I did have a good time but it was so short and I have to actually work tomorrow so 
hey you guys until next weekend and it's going to be a short weekend who does saturday and sunday oh my gosh i'm gonna think about that the whole week that i'm gonna have i got a very short weekend coming up yeah but anyway all right you guys take care talk to you later hope you all had a, a blessed day a great day and a great crafting day and we'll see you all soon bye bye thanks for watching